Hi Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. This is a Blender Key workout, 10 minutes for 10 days. This will speed up your modeling. Let's begin. First of all, select the cube. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go G. If you press the G key, this will move your actual cube around quickly. So Control Z will undo. Uh, but if you want to actually restrict the movement, if you put G and X, then it will move it along the red line. Control Z, G and Y. Across the green line, Control Z, G, Z, take it along the purple line, and Control Z to center. As you can see, Control Z is the one that actually undoes things, so I will try not to mention it going forward. Right, that's G, the Go key explained. The next thing we're going to do is actually the rotation key. If you press R and then just rotate, as you can see, that rotates the actual cube, but there's not much control. So if we actually rotate in the Z direction, then we're rotating the purple line as the axis. And this gives us a little bit more control, control Z. Rotate by the green, which is in the Y direction. And as you can see, it rolls around the green line using that as its axis. And if you control an R, rotate an X, then it's round the red line. So the red line becomes the axis. Z. This is very useful because if we actually rotate this, it also rotate by an amount. So if we rotate in the Z direction by 45 degrees, as you can see, we've now changed the cube. We've now got the another tool which we call the scale exactly tool. Exactly 45 so if, degrees. If we press the from S the top, key at the cube, press the S key. And we can scale our cube up and down to any size we want. And as you can see, as we scale it, you'll see the scale appears in the top left hand top corner. And Control Z to undo, Control Z and Control Z to take it down to the bottom. We've now got our cube. You can scale S, scale, press the Y. And if we were to put two, then it scales it by double in the Y direction. You could do that in the X direction. And of course, you scale in the Z direction by two, just the same. Just by typing the actual two there, it actually has doubled it. If you press three, it triple it. If you press four, it quadruple it. So that's the scale explained. We now have a tab key. This is one of the actual keys used to actually get us in and out of edit mode and object mode. In edit mode, we can use the actual, <coughs> the same keys that we've just learned. So if we actually select the points, because that's what it usually defaults as. But what we've got up here, we've got a point select, a line select, and square select, which will enable the middle manipulation of this cube. If you press the one key, and it does point select, two key will do line select, and the three key will do face select. This is on the normal keyboard. So one, two, and three will do different things. So back to one, point select, if we press the G key, then we can move this point around. And we've already got something that looks a bit like a ship. Control Z to undo. And if we want to move multiple points around, this is where the shift comes in. So press the let, press the shift key, select multiple points, and you can move these around as well. You can see. Control Z. And if you select two points, then of course you select two, two points, then you're obviously selecting a line. If you, want, if you would like to move a point in a particular direction, you can select the point and G and X will mean that it's restricted to the X. Control C. G and Y goes along the green line. Control C. And G and Z goes up and down. This also works for line select in that you can actually hold the shift button down and you can select multiple lines or you can actually select these two lines here that are opposite other, each other and you could move these around by pressing the G key or you can press these around by putting G and Z like so. The other things that you can do is you can scale these along the actual if I went to S scale by X and as you can see them two lines now scale and if you scale them that way so either way Control Z. Right. 
and of course face select is just the same G to move G and Z move in the up direction Control Z G and Y moves forwards and backwards and G and X will move left to right Control Z the next thing we're looking at is the rotate key right if you have a, a point if you rotate a point inside a point then it doesn't move so you cannot rotate a point but what you can do is you can rotate a line so R and Z and I'm just going to turn that line by the Z direction control Z and if we were to uh, rotate this by the rotate by the X We'll rotate it across the red line as you can see see to undo the only thing you can't rotate it is by the y line because then it'd be doing it round itself rotate by y and as you see it does nothing you can also use rotate by selecting the face and pressing r and you can rotate the face or you can rotate it by z like so see rotate by x on the red line, so we'll see I'll rotate along the Y line, like so. So that's rotate in edit mode, and of course the one we haven't covered yet is the scale in edit mode. So if you press the S key, you can actually take it to a point by just moving your mouse, take it out so it looks a bit like a um, cup or something, and basically just move it about. See if I scale it you can then scale and then of course you can move it to wherever you like or you can move it along the X Y or the Z axis so that's scale covered you can also select everything press the S key and scale up and down just like you did before Control Z or you can scale in the X like so see the next thing we're, we're going to cover is we're going to actually make a little house that you'd see on uh, a monopoly board for instance so i'm going to scale in the x direction like so and what we're going to do is we're going to use extrude so i'm going to e to extrude in the z direction and then i'm going to scale in the y direction scale and y a little bit too tall so I'm just going to G and Z to move it down and there you have it a little piece that you have on the Monopoly usually in green or red for the houses maybe not too detailed but we can add detail later on control Z and that's extrude because you can actually extrude by pressing E in any direction you want so selecting them faces select the far face and as you can see we're now actually starting to make shape which could be the start of your model control z to undo this and i'm going to take this right back to the actual cube by pressing control z and we're back at the cube you can also inset faces there's two ways to do this one is by pressing the i key and then moving the mouse or pressing the i key and scaling by 0.5 for instance the way I prefer is I extrude and then I scale by 0.5 because I prefer it on it to inset because it's more controlled. I also can in extrude inward so if I were to e press the E and then move it down into the cube then it becomes a hole. Z. Or if I were to I to scale and E and Z. And then it becomes a little peg or a button on a block. Control Z. So that explains inset and extrude. And the last one we're going to actually cover in this 10 minute tutorial is loop cut. Control R. We'll make a loop cut. If you actually click the left uh, click once, then you can move the line up and down and press it once again one more time actually fixes it you can also press ctrl r 
and then move your mouse wheel to actually make more cuts or you can press ctrl z to just undo it or you can go on line select or face select and press ctrl r then type say six which then div divides it by one two three four five six seven pieces because it's put six loop cuts in there Control c so to finish off all we're going to do is everything that we've learned in this quick and easy key tutorial is we're going to quickly make a chair and this is going to be a really blocky chair so just bear with me it's so simple so eight going to out of edit mode and we're going to scale this in the z direction until it becomes a thin chair shape then we'll hit the tab key to go into edit mode select line select Control r subdivide subdivide this by six in that direction then Control r press the six left click twice to fix and as you can see now we've got our platform we're now going to press the three key go on to face select hold the shift button down and select the alternate squares in the corners then we're going to press e to extrude in the z direction there we have our table uh, chair legs and then we're going to select this corner hold the shift down press each one of those E to extrude by Z to the back of the chair and then we're going to go E and Z just one more square and then just to finish off this very very simple chair I'm going to actually show you another key I'm going to select that face and select the end face and then I'm going to do a thing cut press the right mouse button and what we're going to do is we're going to bridge these faces it's amazing I've got two selected select the faces and then bridge faces which then we'll join those together press the tab key come out of edit mode and voila you have made a quick chair this is a quick and easy tutorial just to show you how to use keys thank you for joining on blender tc please subscribe